Hello and welcome to episode 59 of our Ostrov Alpha 4.5 Let's Play. It is March of 1793. Skipped a couple years on YouTube, but we had a good time. Past couple streams on Twitch, building up the town. So what we ended up doing was we put a ton of houses in over here. And we added this farm right here with a couple of fields. There is a third one currently being somewhere yeah, right here. It's clicking a little slow because the town is absolutely enormous now. But yeah, we're going to have this third field. Probably not for this uh, this growing season, but we've got all sorts of other stuff as well. We've added some more grave plots and some other houses and things over here. We've cut a little bit more of the forest out. We're going to be putting some more houses in as well. But we have a lot of stuff done here. And we have uh, more storage for stuff like wool and everything. And this is currently being constructed as well. A little slowly. We might have to uh, come back and do this. Because it was uh, having some problems. But yeah, we are really getting somewhere with the town. We've got 1,338 residents. We've got a financial deficit at this exact moment. But we are clawing our way back. It's just kind of at the point in the game now where not a whole lot can happen all at once. It just kind of has to take it slowly and figure out exactly what's going on. You see how choppy this is right now. This is uh, interesting. So yes, let's go ahead and get right down to it. Let's come back over here. And we're going to go ahead and try to uh, cancel and bring this back. Because it is just taking entirely too long and all of our builders are kind of lost. So we'll just go ahead and demo this and then try to rebuild it exactly in this completely same spot. Of course, they demolish it really fast, you know, because that's, uh, that's how the stuff works, right? But that's fine. So we'll go ahead and uh, let them do their thing that they got to do, get those out of there, and we will put a another warehouse exactly in this exact same spot. You know, as soon as they get rid of that stuff, it's going to take probably a little bit of time. But while we're doing that, we're waiting for that. I think what we're going to try and get done this episode is try to streamline a lot of our import, export, and resource supplying stuff. Because while I'm building this uh, this warehouse to store iron, because our trading post is currently full, because there's a lot of iron, and we're at a point in the game where we really, really, really have to import a lot, and uh, we probably are going to get to a point pretty soon where that's not possible to uh, keep up with the growth of the town. Uh, I have seen reports in the Ostrov Discord and the subreddit as well that the game becomes almost unplayable, around 1,400 people. So uh, we're pretty close to that. So we're, we're going to find out uh, if we can stretch a little bit further past that. But we very well could be getting to the point where our town really can't grow too much more. So I just need these people to get these uh, last couple boards out of the way and we'll be in good shape to plop this right down down again. Just one more board. Come on. Okay, it was a couple more boards. I lied. That's fine. So we're going to end up probably... We'll put this in here. We'll get this all set up. We might define another field for them to start cutting down. But then we're going to go around and we're going to take a look at exactly what we will have to do to make sure that all of our imports and exports are being stored as close as possible to their production buildings. And then we might take a little look at some food as well and see what we can do to get some more stuff, especially buckwheat, because that's going to be a feed for pigs, which we are going to have to get some more pig styes built as well, because that's an easy way to do food variety. So I think they finally got that out of here. So we'll go ahead and put this, uh, this warehouse right back here, and we'll watch them build that real quick while we take a look at this. So our storage is actually no longer full. They've been offloading. But part of our problem is all of the iron that we import is stored here or in one of the smithies. So we'll have to take care of that. And we have a uh, couple of other things we could probably do. Like we we're exporting honey for one of the one of the towns, but we really haven't they haven't asked for a lot of it. So we might take that out of the trading post. We're going to keep charcoal, going to keep sunflower oil. We'll keep salt and shoes and horseshoes. We might add possibly something else to replace honey. We'll see what seems to be in demand. And uh, hopefully they can get this warehouse built pretty, pretty quickly. We will find out. 
if they are able to do so. But we don't need to stand there and just watch that forever. Let's take a look. We have our smithy here is that's a carpentry. Let's click on the actual correct thing. It has some iron stored as does this one and this one and this one down here. But we uh, obviously do not have enough room in the trading post to do that. So we'll go ahead and put this one as iron and we'll just have that take up the full 10,000 so we can actually you know, feel good about having as much imported as physically possible. So that should begin filling up relatively quickly from here. And then the next time we have a, a trader come in offering that, we can take care of that. So everything else that's in here, like these warm clothing uh, things we had imported. So I don't know why these are still here. Uh, textile or our, well, these are shoemakers workshops. Textile for our uh, weavers workshops and all that need a place to go. This is charcoal. This is wood. Probably should somewhere up here build another warehouse for textile this one is firewood and hurlka and mead uh let's see slaughterhouses you know after some point i kind of forget where i build stuff well let's see so they've got hemp we're going to, actually we don't need to import we've got plenty of hemp uh wheat though we will import metal parts we're always going to import textile we have plenty presently uh warm clothing we have plenty broadcloth so our, i think our sheet production uh production queue and setup here is probably about as good as it's going to need to be for a while because we have a surplus of these things we are as always going to sell sunflower oil as much as we can uh flour we're not stocking here that's in the other one horseshoes we're going to keep selling because that seems to be a pretty good thing salt is good as well sallow we're not selling we really need to be buying it but uh let's see we'll go ahead and import some chickens because they'll just be automatically slaughtered and that will be fine we're out of burial plots again my god so what we're going to do is we're going to put in, I tried to put one here, but it didn't, uh, didn't really have room. We're going to need space for a, uh, textile thing. Now we have all of these, mostly salt and firewood from what I remember. Um, yes, that seems to be about right. This one is salt. We, we just, we have a ton of salt. So let's see if we can find, let's go to our weavers workshops and tailors workshops probably need to store more by the weavers workshops um so down here we have two and two this one is hemp and a cloak wow we have a lot i'm actually kind of surprised a couple hundred hours of this save i just don't remember half of this stuff okay so we've got one down here why don't we go ahead since we have so much open space around here we'll go ahead and put in a warehouse right next door just right behind it. Actually, this field is done and it's June, so I think we might be able to uh, take care of that. Now, we do need to check real quick before we do anything else. We don't have any buckwheat stored. We have a ton of potatoes. Good Lord, 52,000 potatoes. We really need to get more buckwheat, but we have to figure out what buckwheat is a good balance with because it takes up most of the green and the blue. We could possibly uh, grow wheat and buckwheat at the same time. Uh, I don't think we really need very much more wheat. So this one, we've got buckwheat, we've got sunflower, flax, and a fallow field. Seems to be holding up okay. And we have the same exact thing here. So you know what? Let's not tempt anything. Let's just go ahead and copy. I wish I could copy this, but we'll go ahead and get this rolling here and we'll have this join the rotation, probably doing flax just to keep things pretty simple. And I don't know if it's gonna let us, okay, no, sewing season's over, probably ended in uh, May, but that is now in the correct spot. And we can, of course, while we're sitting here, go ahead and add another field and connect right here to the corner and then come all the way down here to our 50 spot right here. That is now too long, and I did a really bad job of lining stuff up, I guess, because these are going to be going to be trapezoids. So we're actually we're not too far off. We'll go ahead and come down here. That's 49. So we need to come up just a little bit more. Two here, 50, 50, 50, 50, and it's not going to be perfect, but uh, you know what? We'll we'll live with that. We'll let them get rid of those 51 trees, but this should end up helping a little bit here. Wow, why do we have 5,000 water in here? That shouldn't be... Oh, I guess I did a... Did a oopsie there. 
We, we really don't need 5,000 water. Good lord, why is that having so much water? We don't, we don't need that much. The oxen are not that thirsty. Although it doesn't seem to be counting against storage anymore. So, you know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Alright, so uh, upon further review, we will leave that alone. And let's come on down here to our little... I remember where it is. Yep, right here. And we're going to make this for textile. So we'll come right here and get that to nice 10,000. And hopefully that can uh, be good. We'll just go ahead and apply that to everything. Look, we already have 2,800 iron in here. We have 42 warehouses. Jeez. Well, this is a... Uh, very large town. Let's go ahead and take the opportunity to save. Get that done. Okay, so now we have this field is in progress here. We've got all these hay dryers. We have hay barracks. They seem to be mostly full, which is good. That means we are producing more than we're consuming, which is always good. Always a good sign that you want to see. And I think we can, over here, go ahead and add another field see if I can get away with doing something like this. 50 units. Get to 50 here. Can I get to 50, 50, 50, 50? Okay. No. So it's going to be a weird kind of trapezoid shape, I guess. That is okay. Look at this to maximum size. That should be yeah, it's going to be weird, but what do we care, right? What really matters is, does it produce what we need it to produce? The answer is probably going to be yes. So all we have to do now is find the corner that we just put in, and it's going to be probably here. Yes, looks like it. And then we will do a similar thing. Again, these aren't going to be perfectly straight, and I'm sure there's some of you that will be very upset with me for that, but you know what? It's going to be fine. So we'll just go ahead and trick the game to letting me do this. Seems to be in order here. So this will be a weird little triangle field, but that'll get us to six fields here. And this one uh, should be relatively quick and easy to do. Then I think this should be okay. Should be a okay. And then this will all be in order by the time we have the next planting going around. So since we have a lack of burial plots. You know what that means? Well, actually, we have this messenger we need to take care of first. Mead, we will always purchase mead. Dried fish, we actually don't need to buy, which is good. Sunflower oil, we'll sell our 2,000 here. Flour, I believe we still... Ah, eh, no, I won't sell any of that. Um, Clothing, we're not... Wow, we got a lot of clothing. So we're probably actually good on clothing. Warm clothing, we're good on. Broadcloth, we're good on. Sallow, of course, we have none because we don't have any. So now the game's paused. Go ahead and save it again. And you guessed it, we're going to be doing more of this as soon as I remember to actually, you know, click the correct thing. All right, and we'll just keep on adding these because people die and they have to have somewhere to go, right? And I don't think we're going to get any crematories. Crematorium, I guess it's probably the correct word. Probably not in 18th century Ukraine if I had to take a wild guess. We're almost in 19th century Ukraine, actually. I had a previous file I believe got to somewhere in the early 1800s. It was not this large, but I did leave it running for a much longer period of time. We'll just add a couple more of these to finish out this row. And then we're going to try and see what else we might want to take care of in today's episode. So thank you for bearing... Uh, with me through this. Okay, so that's all taken care of. That should hold us over for at least another five minutes, probably. I don't know. So, we've got chicken coops. I think they're probably all okay, as long as they're at full capacity, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we probably should, while we're at it with the livestock, go around to all the cow sheds and take care of the bulls. They're actually all still queued up for uh, for slaughter from the last time I did this. So maybe things are just uh, taking a long time. I don't know. Never hurts to check, though. We probably could stand to build another couple slaughterhouses, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But I don't want to add too many jobs because we already have a lot of open vacancies. 
as always, we'll leave one bowl of reproducing age to make sure that our population doesn't crash because nothing can reproduce. And yeah, see, this has a couple of older ones here. And we'll leave one old enough. Yep, right there. Same thing over here, as always. And I think, yep, I'll have to leave that one. And then we'll grab these two. Actually, this one still only has 14. Why does it only have 14? I guess they've been, uh, they've been slaughtered. Or I made these an oxen for the new farm. I actually don't remember, so we're going to just... We will we'll untick these. We'll let them we'll let them do their thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and get these two. Three, I guess, if I can count correctly. Sometimes that's hard. Okay, I think we are good to go. We'll save again. The day this game's autosave is fixed, it will be a very good day. Or at least where it makes the game not completely unstable. So we have three fields up queuing for construction here. We've still got plenty of time today to take care of a couple more things. Let's check on our taverns. They're actually negative wealth. I don't know why. Now, if you, if anyone watching has an idea as to why this tavern could be negative wealth, despite having plenty of houses around it, uh, let me know in the comments, because I can't really figure it out. Because this tavern is always poor. We'll go ahead and we'll give them some money so they don't have to move out. Get them up to 100. Because we have uh, already negative anyway. Who cares? But these people have plenty of money. They're at 265, and these people are at 1319. So I have no idea why this other one is having such a huge problem with it. Because there's not really that fewer houses around, I don't think. Within a certain radius, there's probably about the same amount of people. I just, I, just, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I truly don't. So that, that might be a mystery for a later day. We're already having some textile going here, which is very encouraging. Good to see. We have plenty of houses down here. We have this brand new market. The granaries seem to be doing reasonably well. So I think... Let's check our, uh, our stock of things again. We can feed pigs potatoes because we have a ton of them. So I think it could be time to go ahead and put a pig sty in. And I think we're going to start doing it down here at this farm. So we'll go ahead and get our grid pack here and we're going to start with I think we can do two pigsties it'd probably be okay we'll leave a little bit of space between that and that let's just put these two right next to each other see if I can line this up nicely I know not everyone appreciates the straight lines but it makes me happy and it's my playthrough so that's what we're going to do let's go ahead and get those uh, going right here so my thinking is we'll be able to have uh, pigs supply a little bit more of our food supply because if we go to our problems here the overwhelming problem is still having not enough food variety and now some people are out of money which is possibly indicative of other problems as well probably probably need to either raise wages or lower rent and land tax. Possibly lower taverns tax as well because people in there can't afford anything. Uh, we could lower market products price, but that is the majority of our income is local sales, or at least the plurality of it. I don't know if it's actually 50% plus one, but you get the gist. So we probably could afford to raise the purchase from citizens price but that would not solve all the problems because not everyone is growing and selling food so i think the answer here is to lower the village house rent and increase land tax slightly because those people who are growing their own food are actually making a profit off of their food and if they're not they can still eat the food they grow and they won't starve so yeah i know how, uh, how fair of me right so we'll, we'll test this out for a little bit the wealth tax is still funneling money off of people that don't need it because they already have too much. If you go here, we have uh, an alarmingly high amount of low wealth people. I think ideally under this system, most people should probably be yellow or orange because after 100, of course, it siphons off. It doesn't seem to affect taverns at all, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, we seem to be doing pretty well. Wow, we have uh, somebody, I guess, who's 106. 
I had somebody in my last playthrough who was 117, I believe, before they died. That was, uh, I'll have to remember uh, where exactly. That's one of the episodes in the Alpha 3.3 Let's Play, I think. I could be wrong, so don't, don't quote me on that. Let's see, where is the closest uh, forestry here? I think it's this one. So they certainly have their work cut out for them. We do have our reforestation areas that are doing quite well, as far as I can tell. Uh, let's see, yeah, here is fine. That's fine. This is getting there, but it's fine. See, I really, I don't fully understand what some of the issue is with our supply here. We do want to keep an eye on our harvesting because I know we have a uh, surplus of vacancies and we don't want our farm laborers to be uh, funneled away to other things. It seems like most farms are doing fine. We do have another full month and a half to harvest before things truly become dire for our farmers and their crops. So I'm not super worried about it. Of course, I'd like to see a little bit more being harvested, but I think we're on pace to be doing okay. So the, the big problem now is most of the non-forested land we've already built upon. So now we have to actually clear trees to build more stuff, which is annoying, I guess. And then hopefully before the, uh, the next planting, we'll have these, uh, these three additional fields taken care of here. So let's go back to our problems because we have people that don't have any money despite both working and they have, they have Hiroka Mead. Uh, I, I guess I, I can't remember where I saw this, but someone said Hiroka is actually a, uh, variant of vodka. Field is not activated. Okay. Well that, that'll do it. Um, I think we had this issue before. So this one will be here. So this one will be here, here, here. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I just, I don't know why that wasn't activated. But yeah, it said Hiroka is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it said it was an ancestor of vodka, which would make sense considering it's made from potatoes. These people say they don't have any water. They've got wealth though, despite one being unemployed, which is interesting. I don't know how they amass that much money without having a job. Um, okay. Um, oh, there's not any, there's not any wells down here? I thought I had one. Okay, well, we can go ahead and add one of those. Make sure that these people have access to water. That's very important. We'll put this on the side of the granary right here. That will be a-okay. Go ahead and move this to the front so they can have access to that. Anybody else have any water problems? We do have a couple of buildings that are full. It's probably going to be the farms. Yeah, look at all those potatoes. Good lord. We are going to be feeding our pigs probably almost exclusively potatoes at this point. I don't think the pigs care. We can stop feeding them the actual homegrown produce because that's asinine. Um, let's just go ahead and do 3,000 potatoes, see if we can get that to uh, get stocked up because we have so many potatoes. That'll help keep our valuable commodities from being consumed. I don't remember exactly why I had those in there, maybe as a sort of safety net, but I don't see any more people complaining about not having uh, water, so that's good. Why is this field angry? It's not activated. Come on. I can't be that dumb, right? Uh, seriously, I cannot be that dumb. I gotta... I must have missed something. I hope they can actually build so I think we might have overextended our, uh, our construction populace here. Could be time to add another, uh, another construction office. So I think the closest one here is now across the river over here. That's a slaughterhouse. Why did I click on that? Come on. Construction office. Oh, there's one here. Really? Okay, well, that's kind of concerning. But this well is done, so that should solve that problem. Um, it's November. Why is... Okay, well, they're just going to take forever and a day to get this stuff done. Uh, I will push this one to the front because there's only two trees, so hopefully they can get that done relatively quickly. Like I said, this is just a whole lot of waiting. I, I've not done any cuts this episode, but uh, that ought to give you an idea just how slowly things go now. And if you see my streams, then you're going to understand that as well. 
Yeah, see, it's mostly just uh, money problems, which are relatively easy to fix. They usually take care of themselves. I don't see too many people moving out, so I'm not super worried about it. As far as our markets go, I think these are... Actually, I can just turn this on. I, I never use this. I don't know why. It seems like things are pretty much staying in stock, mostly. Firewood, of course, is always a problem. But uh, that's, that's just the way it goes. We have a ton of issues with all of that stuff. So we just need... Just need them to come get these trees. Come on, man. I got stuff to do. We got crops to grow. And we have a messenger from Barvin Cove. And pause the game. We have plenty of lime. We are going to go ahead and import all of their iron and buckwheat and Haroka because... You know, well, actually, there's 10,000, but I don't think we can ever have too much of that. Um, let's see. We could be exporting potatoes if we really wanted to, but I think I'd rather use them to feed pigs. Because we have just so, so many of those. Now, I hope they're going to get logs here. And they are. So that should, uh, hopefully... I think there's just... Just these two logs that need to come get removed. And then we can take care of that field. And then we'll be able to get stuff queued up. Yeah, so they just have to get that one. And we'll get these things uh, queued up for uh, the spring planting. And then we'll say goodbye for this episode. We're already at 25, 26 minutes, which is about as long as these usually are. So before we do that, let's just take a quick gander around. And see how everything else is done. Doing. How are we doing on our boats for our fishing docks? Okay. We don't have everything fully. I can't remember if I have any down here. Yep. I did build another boatyard and somewhere up here and hired more people to work at it because I guess I hadn't had anyone working here. But this is uh, not ideal, but it's an acceptable amount of boats to be out of operation here. Okay, so this field is fully complete, and we have snowfall. So real real quick before we get you out of here, let's go ahead and just uh, probably don't need a ton of flax. Go ahead and pause this. I think this is going to be a pretty good uh, rotation here. So we'll go ahead and copy this exact same thing here. It's going to be some buckwheat. And I already forgot what the second one is. Sunflowers. It's been a long day. And this one is going to be flax. We actually could do hemp instead of flax. Um, yeah, we can rotate. Why not? Leave that there. We'll go ahead and activate it. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get this field completely done. I might do it as soon as I stop recording, but I don't want to keep these to be super long. But yeah, we've got, a, you know, incremental improvements. Nothing earth-shattering, per se. But I always like playing the game, and I like providing you guys with updates and seeing all of the wonderful support and comments and everything that people leave. It's fun. It is uh, you know, just a really enjoyable experience, and I know a lot of you are very, very appreciative of it, so I appreciate you being appreciative, you know? I think that's how that works, being reciprocative, if that's a word. Iron is looking good. Yeah, so we're in, we're in good shape. I'm pretty happy with how things are turning out. We definitely are reaching the point of diminishing returns, but uh, I'm going to keep playing this until we get another huge update. If Alpha 5 comes out anytime soon, then I will probably start over for that. But uh, I don't plan on doing that unless it gets to that point. So now, of course, is the time to remind you that I do live stream on twitch.tv slash jcthebeard. I do play some Ostrave as well as Persona 5 Strikers. I've got a couple other things in the works as well. Maybe another city builder type game or some other similar things. So if you feel so inclined, follow me there. It's a good time. I just got to Affiliate, which is all sorts of good fun. And we are not too far away from getting to the YouTube partnership either. We're just under 860 subscribers as of recording this video. So hey, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button and click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos as they come out. But if you don't want to do that, I still appreciate you just the same. Thanks so much for watching these videos. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are. See ya.